Now, if you are totally new to golf and looking forward to getting out for your first ever golf game but don't know what actual clubs you'll need, then this video is especially to help you. You're actually allowed to bring a maximum of 14 clubs out on the golf course with you, but really, at first, you probably won't need that many. First of all, let's look at the different types of golf club there are, and essentially there are three types. There are woods, there are irons, and then there are putters. Now, woods, these are big, blocky-headed clubs, and these will hit the ball the furthest. Now, they're called woods because back in the old days, the heads used to be made out of woods, but nowadays, they're made from metal and carbon. And the biggest wood of them all, this one here, used to be called the one wood. This one hits the ball the furthest. This is called a driver. And if you are hitting off a tee box and feel like using your driver, you can make it easier to hit the ball by teeing it up. Now, apart from drivers, but also in the wood family, you'll also find smaller headed clubs called fairway woods. Now these might have smaller heads, but actually they're easier to hit than drivers most of the time. These ones can also be hit off the tee to start off a hole, just like the driver and teed up, but with enough practice, you'll be able to hit your fairway wood without a tee under it and just off the grass. It'll become very useful. So, drivers are fun to hit, but they are not that easy to hit. And sometimes it takes quite a bit of practice to get used to hitting and controlling. So if you're just a beginner, we recommend the fairway wood as a safer, easier option. It will still go plenty far, so don't worry. Next, on to the clubs called irons and these have numbers stamped on them to basically indicate how far they hit the ball now for instance this one here this is called the seven iron and once you get used to hitting shots with it you'll quickly figure out how far it goes now as we go down from the seven to this six iron this one here will hit the ball a little bit further than the seven and this five iron will hit the ball a little bit further again. And if you compare the seven to the five, you'll see the face of the seven points up more to the sky than the five. We say it has more loft. And conversely, if we go down from the seven, one club to the eight, you will hit the ball a little bit shorter than the seven and so on with the nine, which will be a little bit shorter again. So comparing the 7 to the 9 iron, the 9 has more loft. So as the numbers get higher, the lofts get higher. Now the funny thing with irons is that there is no 10 iron. Instead, after the 9 iron, the next one is called a pitching wedge. And you'll often see just a P or a PW stamped on the club. And a pitching wedge is a great club for hitting short high shots into the green and I'll just mention one other club in the iron category which comes after the pitching wedge and that is this one here it's called a sand wedge you'll see S or SW stamped on it now you can hit your sand wedge from the grass just like all the other irons it will hit the ball shorter than your pitching wedge but as the name suggests it is a specialist club for hitting the ball off sand which will be in bunkers. Now the design of the sand wedge here called the sole is such that it cuts through the sand, it glides under the ball and it makes it easy to get the ball out of a bunker. So that's woods and irons. Now I did say there are three types of club and of course the final type is called a putter. And this one here you will use on greens to essentially put the ball into the hole. Now they come in all different shapes and sizes, some quite weird. This one here is quite big and blocky and it's got lots of lines to help you line up your ball for a putt. So those are the types of clubs you have, but how many of them do you really need to go out and play for the first time? Well, I remember when I started playing and my dad picking out 
the few golf clubs for my first golf bag and the same advice he gave me back then holds very true today so what did he say well he started off and he said bring your driver with you and your fairway wood have a go at hitting the driver just for fun but if it gets too difficult you always have your fairway wood for a long shot and if that doesn't work he said just hit an iron off the tee any club really that gets you off to a good start on a hole and helps build your confidence now when it comes to irons you only really need to start with a seven iron as your longest one so then pop in your seven pop in your eight your nine your pitching wedge and your sand wedge leave these long irons out and of course you'll be needing a putter so that was a total of eight golf clubs plenty to get you up and running and your bag will even be light enough to carry if you don't want to use a trolley finally just a word on picking your first golf clubs now there are clubs out there for beginners like you and then there are clubs out there for advanced golfers that look very much the same but they can be very difficult to hit so what are you looking for in your clubs well when it comes to a driver the job is pretty easy you essentially want something with a big head and thankfully most modern drivers will have that now, some drivers have lots of movable weights and screws while others are already built ready to hit like this one here no bells no whistles just a great driver now with your first irons look for ones with big chunky heads like these ones that have an opening at the back just like this these are called cavity back irons irons in the old days this is an antique this is what they used to look like very thin at the back and modern irons for best better players can look very much like those those are called blades avoid those and go for cavity backs and when it comes to your first putter choose something that just feels comfortable for you something you think you can line up the ball nicely with and have a go at rolling the ball towards the hole on the right line so to summarize then you're excited about your first round of golf i would say to bring about eight golf clubs in the bag a driver or smaller wood that you can hit off the tee a few irons maybe starting at seven eight nine pitching wedge sand wedge for bunkers and short shots and your putter pick irons with big friendly chunky heads not skinny flat ones because they are harder to hit and lastly always bring enough golf balls to last you the round it is really easy to lose these things now I do hope this all helps you get ready for your first game of golf and for lots more helpful advice, check us out on Golf Twitter, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And please hit that subscribe button on this YouTube video if you like this video. It will also keep you in the loop when a new Golf Twitter video drops. From me for now, enjoy your golf. It's Donal out.